Hello Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you do see this, it will be the right time. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you all with the link to my website, spirituallygoldie.com for you to view the different options for readings. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of self-forgiveness for yourself, Libra. So it, I see you really forgiving like judgments that you've made about yourself. Whether it's like the things that you've said to yourself in the past, things that you've done to yourself in the past, um, positions that you've put yourself in, environments or people that you let into your energy, Whatever it is, this is the time for you to let go and release some of that internal judgment that you've been, um, that you've had, okay? So forgiveness and letting go of resentment, either forgiving yourself and others so that you can restore peace in your life, peace in your heart, and potentially, you know, love again or love yourself in a new way. So with this judgment, this is a phoenix. So everything that was meant to hold you back or keep you down is not working. Nope. It like you are coming out of the ashes and you are expanding and evolving into a stronger, greater, more resilient version of yourself here, okay? It's like not giving up. You have not given up on yourself. And I see you continuing not to give up on yourself here. So you've been through trials and tribulations. And through all of this, it has made you who you are today. And I see that some of you have been maybe having questions or felt like you didn't have the answers that you needed maybe questions as to why certain things happened to you um but in time you will receive answers so answers are coming if you've been confused about a situation or a person rest assured that you'll get the answers that you seek so it's not a matter of if but a matter of when um, you'll end up seeing things clearly, okay? So, some of you have stopped or come to a stop here. It may have felt like some sort of conditions were not safe. Um, or something was in balance and you had to come to a stop. Or put something to a stop that just wasn't serving you here. Okay, and now you're, I see you making a, a decision or a judgment. Hmm. Okay, Ace of Wands. About something that in some way, like, it sparks your interest or something that you're passionate about. But it came out sideways, so something about this is like there's pros and cons to it. And you're weighing out the pros and the cons to this um, new passionate beginning or this new, or this, or some sort of action that you're thinking about taking. Okay, so I'm seeing a message, Page of Cups. For, this could be coming from someone who's very like dominant. Someone who's dominant, a message from their heart. So 
some sort of like invitation or a love offer and I feel like you're making a judgment about whether or not to accept this. Um, for some, this is an apology. Someone wanting to apologize and wanting an another chance and wanting forgiveness and you're going back and forth on whether or not you should forgive this person whether or not you should give this person another chance but whatever it is it does look like there's another chance here to um, revisit something tell me about this message tell me about this message eight of pentacles somebody and the fool, okay. So, somebody is wanting to um, like prove themselves to you, or wanting to work on something. Um, it does look like they're wanting they're wanting to put in the work here, or work with you in some way. But this is looking like them wanting to to take a risk or take a leap of faith by reaching out okay we have the fool in the world this could be someone wanting to travel somewhere with you or or traveling towards you and something about this is like they're they're wanting to take a risk here if you do have someone on your mind think of them let's take a look and see what their energy is saying right now libra okay Seven, seven here. I do get a sense that this person feels like there's something about time. The timing has to be right or the conditions have to be right. Okay. Hmm. Emperor. So... I get that this person feels like feels like they I, I, I get a sense that this person is feeling like they are waiting for the right time to be able to prove something to you or they need time something about the, them needing time or waiting for the right time here although there is this person is coming through with a message like we saw that they are taking a leap of faith towards something about it again because there was like a risk factor and something about it could be that they're taking a risk although the timing may not be completely right they they want to take a risk okay hmm Clarify the sun reversed. That's how they see Libra. Ten of Pentacles. And the Tower. Wow. So, this person really does see you as not seeing this coming, not seeing them coming, or being unaware of of um, their emotions or their feelings. I see that this person views you as somebody who is also very connected to family, or you have some sort of very stable family structure, whether you're connected to your own family a lot or you see a, your family a lot or visit or you live with them something about this is like they they see that you're very like honestly in a way it feels like you're very protected by family or by ancestors or something like that but they also see that you may not be aware or see um clearly how they feel or like what their plans are chariot is actions so and the six of pentacles it does look like they want to give more to you 
they want to give more to you and they're very determined very very determined to prove prove it to you i'm for some I get a sense that either this ha person has like other responsibilities in their life or family responsibilities. Um, but something about like with the Six of Pentacles feels like they also have other situations that need them. Although they're very determined to prove to you that they want to give more time and energy to you so this again this could be connected to someone wanting another chance to prove that to you or and just needing time or asking for time okay who that was a lot <laughs> i don't know why that just felt like a lot but i feel like this person that has a lot in their going on in their life and you may be like yeah i don't know <laughs> We'll see. Um, so winter is coming up. What you desire will manifest in the winter months. Also a time of solitude, survival, and quiet reflection. So I feel like this winter you're really going to be um, in this energy. It feels like you're in this halfway point. You're at this halfway point of creating some sort of legacy for yourself but I don't know I feel like with this person wanting an, a chance some of you may just feel disappointed by them with that five of pentacles in the outcome or feeling like um, something about it feels like lonely or something about this person in your life feels like even if they're in your life there's a sense of them not being really present or at least for winter someone's not really present okay and it feels like just could turn out to just be another like go around with this person Mm, but I definitely feel like you're taking your power back and focusing on your success. Some of you have a fire sign coming towards you, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel like there's someone new coming in, though. Who, what does this person want with Libra? Ugh, they, they're just coming in to play games. So beware of, I feel like, yeah, whoever this new person is, beware. They may just be coming in just to like, just to play games. Um, but they're saying, don't give up. Don't give up. You are meant to survive and you are meant to overcome all challenges and obstacles that come your way. And that these are things that also make life interesting. So things are about to get interesting for you, but it's also going to be in a way very transformative for you. And you are going to come out as this phoenix and you will, <laughs> this song, I will survive is, is coming to mind. I will survive, like survival, um, Something about that. It may some of you are maybe are going through a financial situation where it feels like maybe you're having a hard time um, financially. I mean, Christmas is coming up, so maybe there's a lot of things that you're purchasing, um, but you will survive. Rest assured. So, I'm seeing the numbers nine, twenty, five. Those numbers they could be related to birthdays or special days. I've seen the letters S, D, F, W, and A. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.